Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to a very special gaming rules video where I basically renovate my games room. Now, about eight years ago when we moved into this house, uh, this was the room that was decided would be the one that would store all of my games. And as time has gone on, my collection has got uh, bigger and bigger. And as you can see, the storage that I've got for it isn't exactly ideal. All of the games are kind of all piled in here and it looks a little bit disorganized. And there's actually more games than this which have had to be moved off to a secondary storage area because there isn't enough room in here. Now, I've been wanting to get some uh, gaming shelves to store everything in and make them look really nice for a long, long time. And that time has finally come and I've ordered some uh, Kallax shelves from IKEA. And in this video, I'm basically going to show you the before and after pictures. So this is the before and uh, I'm going to show you some more videos along the way. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you is when we came to look round this house, as I say, about eight years ago when we were looking to buy it, uh, we came in this room and the shelves that you actually see here with the yellow strips on them, they were actually already here. So I haven't even put those shelves in myself. Those shelves were already here and there was something very different on them than what's here now. And I'm going to show you a picture on screen of a photo that I took when we came to this house eight years ago. So there you go, before and after pictures of what it was like before and what it's like now. Full of cuddly toys before, full of games now. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking all of these games away from the wall, uh, going to be taking the shelves down, going to be putting the new Kallax shelves up, and then going to be showing you what it looks like afterwards. So here we go. So this is Monday. Uh, all of the games, as you can see, have been taken uh, off the wall. Uh, the shelves have all gone. And where the shelves were... There's lots and lots of marks, so all of this uh, is going to have to be uh, repainted anyway. Vicky wanted to repaint it anyway, but definitely with all of the marks here, it's all going to have to be repainted. Um, so yeah, I best get on with that first. Right, next update. Whew, that was uh, yeah. So I've put together one of the shelves. Um, obviously, game's missing at the moment, so wall all done, wall painted. One of the shelves in, so I've gone for the five by five Kallax shelves. Now, obviously, the bits down at the bottom there, uh, they're going to be covered by, by the sofa bed, but that's okay. I'll just put the games that I don't like down there. And there's plenty of space on top for the big games that won't fit on the actual shelves themselves. So, rather than put the other one together, which I think might kill me at the moment, I'm going to actually sort of populate this with some games just to see, just to see how it looks. But yeah, the other one should fit in there if I've measured it correctly, otherwise I've got a big problem. But yeah, current progress is here. Okay, so we do have a slight problem. Now, I don't quite know what happened with the measuring, but I've measured it incorrectly. Um, I did have the Kallax shells over on the left-hand side of the room earlier, and I thought, oh, they look quite big. And what I did is I put a mark on the ground, and I've slid them over to the right-hand side of the room, and unfortunately, both shelves are not going to fit. So, got a couple of options here, not sure what to do. First of all, I could send the other set of shelves back and just get a, a 4x5 unit instead. That That's one option, assuming they do a 4x5 unit. The other option is to take the skirting boards off. Now, I think he's not going to like this, but it might work. If I take the skirting board off this side down here, um, and the same at the other side, they might just fit. So, yes, we'll discuss this tonight see what the possibilities are and uh, give you an update later. Okay, so uh, Wednesday update. Now, as you can see, one of, the, one of the shelves is in. I've not attached it to the wall yet and I have started populating it with a few games just to see what it would look like, um, but the other one won't fit. So yes, if I just move the camera around a bit, you will see there's, there's the other edge. Let's just go over here. So, uh, yeah, the, the other one will not quite fit here. Basically, it's about five centimetres short. So when I measured it uh, and then wrote the measurements down and went off to Ikea and bought the shelves, clearly I can't count properly. So the other one won't fit. And I've been umming and ahhing about what to do now for a couple of days and I've had various options. One of which was to, because I've got two of these, two of these five by five. The other one hasn't been made up yet. The other option was to take one of them back and buy a smaller one that would 
would fit here, but then I'd have a 5x5 five five and a 4x4 four four and I could get another bit to get. It'd all look a bit weird and Ikea is not that close, so it would be an hour and a half drive, almost a couple of hours drive to get there and back and everything else. That was one of the options. Um, the other option was to actually cut the shelves. Now, the IKEA shelves are not solid wood. If they were solid wood, this would be dead easy, but they're actually hollow. The, the main bits are hollow. So everybody has said, can't cut them, uh, apart from a couple of websites that have managed to cut them. So what I'm gonna do later on today is I'm gonna cut them. Now, I'm fully prepared that this might go disastrously wrong, and I might end up with a complete uh, mess and a, and a waste, but, Cross fingers, we'll see. So I need to take a trip to a DIY store, get a couple of bits, and uh, and then go ahead with the cutting, and let's see how it works out. Okay, so here we go. We're all clamped and ready. We're all measured. Measured three times this time, just to make sure it's okay. And um, let's, let's do some cutting. Okay, so here we are. It's Thursday. Um, I've been out of this a while now. This is going to be the last video that I shoot in this little series of, of putting these bookshelves together. And when I started doing this video, everything was everything was going okay. And I thought it would be just nice just to do a little uh, little video of, of putting everything together and what it looked like before and what it looked like afterwards. And then, of course, uh, as you saw during the video, I uh, I was unable to measure, got all the sizes wrong, and then yeah, so we spent a lot of time thinking about ideas writing them all down, considering them, talking them over with uh, with Vicky, deciding what we're going to do, everything from uh, taking, up, taking the shelves back to Ikea and getting new shelves, removing the skirting boards, doing something else. Uh, one of the things that I was thinking of was cutting the, the Calac shelves and a lot of places where I read basically said don't do that, the, the Calac stuff is hollow, it's not going to work. Uh, so I decided I wasn't going to do it and then came up with another plan and then slept on it again. Anyway, went backwards and forwards and then eventually got up one morning and just thought, right, I'm I'm going to do the cutting idea. If it doesn't work, fine. Um, you know, the money gone. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just I'll just accept that. But I was kind of confident that it would be OK. So did the cutting, uh, got the bookshelves, um, got, got the shelving system in. As you can see, there it is. Now, what I did is I originally cut off one side and had that up against the wall. So if I just move the camera around a bit here, so up against that wall over there, that's that's where the shelves was. But then I thought, well, hang on a minute, it, it didn't look good because basically there was no there was no black bit of wood on the on the right hand side. So um, so then my thought is, well, if if I if I flip it round the other way, then then that'll work. And this is one of the ideas that I'd originally considered but didn't know how I was going to attach it together. So anyway, if I just move that there, you can see where well, you probably you might not be able to see actually, but here, this here, this is actually the middle strip. So this is not mounted to this. Now the problem that I had then was these are basically hanging sort of in midair. Well they're attached here but I didn't want them to bend. So I've put a little supporting strut on the inside, which isn't really taking up that much space. And then what I did is I've started populating it with games. Now, this isn't quite my entire games collection. Um, I've used this as an opportunity to start culling some of the things out of my collection that are just never gonna get played. So UK Games Expo is coming up in a couple of weeks time. I'm gonna be taking about uh, a dozen games there to get rid of. Um, but I have got most of the things in. Now you can see that I've also gone with a, a horizontal storage system. Now. Most of the ones that I see when people have got these shelves in videos is it's vertical. And originally I, I put them vertical. But what was happening is that some of, some of my heavier games with lots of bits in, all of the stuff has fallen to the bottom and the box was starting to open. And also you can only get, uh, if we look at the Watch Your Game games, you can only get um, four of them horizontally. And there was still a bit of a gap. Now, what I've done there is I've tucked another game in the side, but putting them vertically, I actually got a bit more space in. And I don't have the problem that the boxes are opening or, or things are coming out. So anyway, before I ramble on a bit more, this is how it looks. I've been wanting to do this for eight years, finally got around to doing it. It was a lot more trouble than I expected it to be. Um, bit of DIY involved, but end result is 
looks pretty good. Very happy with it. Thanks for watching.